Hi everyone! So today we're going to be talking about the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Glide Eye Pencils. I've got them in my hands, I got four shades. I got the ground coffee shade, the grey shade, green shade and the gold shade. So I didn't buy the warm toned brown, I didn't get the black. But we'll see how this goes and if they are absolutely amazing I might just be picking up the two shades that I don't have. So in this video I'm obviously going to do a demo of all of these shades on the back of my hand and on my eyes. I'm going to do some looks with these pencils and her eyeshadow palettes and her liquid lurex eyeshadows. I'm also going to be comparing finish and formula with the other eye pencils that I have. So let's just get into it. Packaging is typical Lisa Eldridge packaging. Always this white cardboard with the gold lettering. The pencil itself looks very chic. It is in all black with gold lettering. And she does have a little kind of colour strip here telling you what the shade is. So you can see this one is ground coffee. There is 1.2 grams or 0 0.04 ounce in here and it costs £24. All of these eyeliners are cruelty free. They're made in Germany and have a 24 month shelf life. And by the way, just so you know, the Victoria Beckham Satin Kajal eyeliners, they cost £26. So that's two pounds more than the Lisa Eldridge, but the amount of product is exactly the same. So Lisa says that the hero ingredient in these eyeliners is chamomile flower extract. So it's good for sensitive eyes and it helps the eyeliner to glide smoothly. So essentially this is a gel pencil that glides on seamlessly like a liquid. Uh, but then you have 40 seconds of playtime before it sets down completely and she says there is 16 hour wear, it's fade resistant, waterproof and smudge proof. The first colour I'm going to demonstrate is Renaissance Gold. So Renaissance Gold is described as a blackened metallic gold with cool champagne pearl. So I'm just going to do a quick little swipe on the back of my hand. Oh, okay, that's very soft. It's so soft that actually the tip just broke off a little bit. It definitely feels like a liquid. And I have to say this gold colour is a little bit darker than I imagined it would be. It looked like it was more gold on the website. Whereas looking at this now, it's more, it's definitely got a very strong black base to it. Um, and then the sparkles are gold to give it that gold shade rather than the pencil base colour itself being gold. Does that make sense? I can smudge it very easily with my fingers right now as it's not set down yet. So you can see very easily diffusible. I feel like I just have this leftover shimmer on the back of my hand. Let's try it on the eyes. I'm really excited. So I'm just going to go in the lash line. I'm not trying to be too precise right now. Very easy application. So I'm not pressing very hard at all. So I can say this is very, very gentle for your eyelids. You're not tugging or dragging. You just lightly glide like the name and the color will deposit, which is pretty cool. Okay, so hopefully I've got some time left to just quickly blend that out. So this gold shade is really so much darker than I was expecting and you could literally do a 10 second eye look like this, put on some mascara and just run out the door and it would just look really pretty because it's got the base shade and it's got all of the sparkles on top. Not as gold as I thought, but I am not mad. I think that's really, really pretty. Seriously, I am being so soft and this is just gliding on like an absolute dream. And you really do have actually quite a bit of playtime. I was really worried that I would have put it on and then immediately blend it out. But no, it's easy, no stress. So I'm going to sharpen it and see how well it does when you sharpen it. Uh, I've got this uh, uh, Airy Perez. I'm not sure that's how you pronounce it. This little sharpener here. I really like it. It's pretty good the sharpener. Okay, all sharpened without any issues. It didn't break, didn't flake because sometimes, I, you know guys, you know when you get some wooden pencils and you sharpen it and it breaks and you keep sharpening it and you end up losing loads of product, but it's not happening. I think you can get a defined line as well if you want to, but I am in the mood to smudge 
for the other looks I will try and do a more defined line. I feel like the way that I am using it right now it's almost like a liquid eyeshadow because it is so soft and so blendable um, and the fact there's so much dimension to just this one shade. This looks so pretty. So I'm looking at my camera footage and real life footage. So in real life, I feel like it looks even smokier. The black base shines through more, but on camera, I think it looks more gold because the camera is just picking up those gold reflex much more. By the way, I've got nothing on my eyelids. My eyelids are completely bare with no foundation, no primer, no concealer. So just for a little bit of fun, I'm going to use the shade Lauren from her Liquid Lurex eyeshadow line and see if I can maybe just add a little bit more gold sparkle to it. So I think these are a great pair. This is a Cinnabar eye palette. I'm just going to see if I can put the matte eyeshadow over the eyeliner. So I'm just going to take this mid-tone brown here. So it's applying beautifully over the eyeliner. I'm actually just going to grab the darker brown now and then go even darker here in the outer corner. So now this side is a bit of a more smoky look. So you can see where I put the matte eyeshadow in the outer corner. It's just dampened down the sparkles a little bit and it's a really nice base for the eyeshadow. I just put some mascara on and this is kind of a two sort of similar looks. I don't think they're that different. They look a bit more different in real life and maybe on camera they look quite similar but these are two looks with Renaissance Gold and this is Renaissance Gold on the back of my hand. So I really like it but seriously this is just a shade. You can wear it by itself. You just put on your lash line, blend it out, mascara, out you go and it will make your eyes look beautiful. The next shade I have is Night Forest which you can see is a green here on the pencil and Lisa describe it as the deepest green with blue and green pearl. I'm just going to draw on the back of my hand. Yes that is definitely a very deep green. I'm just going to blend some of it out. I'm finding this one to be less blendable just because I think there is more of a base colour to it and less sparkle, whereas Renaissance Gold was really all about that gold sparkle. Uh, the description says it's got blue and green pearl, but I think the pearl pigment is really not very noticeable on the back of my hand. And by the way, this is what the tip of the pencil looks like. It's very soft and you can I've drawn with it and you can see how one side has already been kind of eroded away, but it's not broken it, it when she says on the website it feels like a liquid it really does let's see how it performs on my eyes very pretty green so this is what it looks like not blended and i've just done a little wing it's very easy to do you can see it's pretty well defined here at the corner and it's matching my hairband <laughs> I think I'm actually just going to leave this eye like this and I'm going to smudge it out on the other side. And I'm just going to go on my lower lash line as well. What do you guys think? Do you like the shade? And what I'm going to do now is actually grab the Sorcery palette and just put the shadows on top. So I'm going to grab the shade Grotto, which is a lovely metallic green. Just putting this on the outer half of my eye, a little bit on the lash line. So yes, these pencils definitely serve as good eyeshadow bases. And then I am going to grab a shade Mercurial, which is my, like my favourite shade from her entire collection. Sorcery palette is back in stock. If you haven't got it, seriously, go run. <laughs> run and buy it. I don't usually say this. So when I say that, I hope you know that it's good. So shiny. So shiny. And by the way, this is a shade Mercurial. It's a dual chrome. It's got pink, it's got green. And since I put it on top of a green base, it's mostly the green that is shining through. So I'm actually just going to take a little bit of a blue shade called Swan Song and apply it to my lower lashes and a little bit off the outer corner at the top. So I feel like 
um, this eye is a very pretty peacock look that I've managed to achieve and this eye is basically just a really simple but statement eyeliner because it's green so I think when you're far away people just think you're wearing black eyeliner but when you get closer they'll notice oh wait it's not quite black <laughs> even though it's a green eyeliner you, I think it's still very very suitable for everyday wear and this is it close up also I've had this night forest eyeliner on the back of my hand for quite a while now let's see how smudge proof it is so that was the smudge test um as you can see quite a lot of it came off of my finger um so I'm not sure how smudge proof this formula is right now uh, I am going to do a wear test of course but right now I have to say it's not looking too promising okay and the next color is cedar smoke so you can see the gray color band on the pencil and this is what it looks like and on the back of my hand so that's a pretty dark gray and Lisa describes it as a cool grey with subtle pearl. So it's not completely matte, you can see the shine and I think that's what she means by the subtle pearl. So blend it out, it's just a slate grey. I'm not really noticing the pearl. And once again, on the eyes we go. God, that glided on so smoothly. And this is a cinder smoke as a wing liner. So now we're gonna go and smudge it out well that was kind of like the easiest smoky eye ever what do you guys think so this is cinder smoke all blended out and could tidy up my under eye a little bit with concealer but yeah that was genuinely like the easiest smoky eye ever and again just put on some mascara or even lashes and i think you're good to go or you can even put like a little bit of a top coat sparkle there in the middle of your eye and then that there you go another look and you're done um this gray was very easy to blend out and i feel like you can see the color is very even once you have blended it out and now we're just with one application i think i'm going to just deepen my lash line a little bit and smoke it out a little bit more but honestly i think one application is already perfect so for kind of this look i'm going to take the palette vega which is this beautiful cool toned gray palette i don't think this is in stock at the moment and i'm going to take the shade supernova which is luminous finish and it's basically sparkly top coat i'm just going to do exactly what i said earlier went a bit overzealous over here so that's what it's looking like now uh sort of just a simple halo smoky eye look and i really do think having the eyeliner almost as a base of these eyeshadow is making the eyeshadow just stick better onto the eyelid and i am really liking this look it's simple yet effective and again let's just do a little smudge test so it's been on the back of my hand for quite a while so yeah it's definitely not a hundred percent smudge proof and before we move on to the next and last shade i just want to say that this formula has been quite easy to take off uh, i've just been using my makeup eraser cloth kind of like you know a face halo type of cloth wet it just comes right off i did use lisa's cleanser as well for the second demonstration just because there was so much eyeshadow and eyeliner and again it came off very easily and lastly we've got ground coffee which is a neutral deep matte brown and this is what the tip looks like and the back of my hand very very smooth i don't know if you can tell if something looks creamy because you can't feel it but if anything looks creamy i feel like this eyeliner is it i'm just blending this out so again i feel like this would be another good liner for eyeshadow so let's go for a winged liner look oh my gosh it's just so easy to use and this is a shade ground coffee as a liner on my eye my eyelashes were actually getting <laughs> stuck on top of this liner because it's quite wet and creamy i know i've said so many times already in this video about how easy this eyeliner is how creamy it is so i did put quite a bit of the liner on so it's making a really deep 
impactful brown on my eyelid is basically acting like a cream eyeshadow right now so you do need to use a brush that's a little bit stiff to blend out the colors but obviously if it's too stiff then you won't get a very good blend and just gonna apply it to the lash line now this is a shade ground coffee blend it all over the eyelid what do you guys think of ground coffee i feel like ground coffee is kind of a staple in anyone's makeup collection really because it's a neutral matte brown um and it will just go with every look and again i feel like this is another easy smoky eye uh, what i'm going to do is actually use the shade bianca in the liquid lyrics eyeshadow bianca is a kind of like a smoky pink sort of shade again i'm just going to do like a little halo eye also i wore the shade bianca all over my eyelid for one of my lisa aldridge lip swatch videos and there were so many people in the comments asking me what i was wearing so this is bianca on top of ground coffee very similar look to the last one except different colors and different tones i decided to stay with the coolness by putting a pink over the top but if you want to warm up this brown a little bit you can then use like a copper shade instead which i have here because it's a neutral brown you can use it with another cool shadow or you can use it with a warm shadow it will go with everything and again let's see how smudgy it is Okay, so again, it's coming off my finger a little bit. So I'm just going to put on some mascara and take some photos of these two demo looks. And then I'm going to apply ground coffee back onto my eyes just as a wing liner on the top lash line only without mascara. So then we can really test out the wear test to see if it's fade resistant, smudge proof. Now we're just going to get onto the comparisons. Um, but honestly, I... I know what my liners are like in my collection and I do think these are definitely the creamiest. Whether it's smudge proof, I'll let you know. Okay, there are a few little shadows that's been cast through the window, but hopefully you can see okay. So let's swatch these liners on the back of my hand. So this is Renaissance Gold. This is Night Forest. Cinder Smoke. And then Ground coffee so i've got these mark jacobs liners i mean i'm not looking for color dupes but i just want to swatch a few of the different colors different shades next to lisa eldridge and, and just compare how the formulas feel so the mark jacobs ones are like you know, you know you have to twist up and i have a gray so it's creamy but i feel like it's not as creamy gold yeah, that definitely felt so dry. I know these ones are pretty old um, as well, but that, no, it, I can feel, you can see the skin sort of being tugged and moved around as I'm swatching this liner, completely different. And I've got this color as well, just for good measure, for a bit of fun. Um, definitely drying. <sighs> I mean, partly this could be, because my Marc Jacobs liners are pretty old. But, I mean, the lids have been on there. I feel like they shouldn't have really dried out. Um, the grey one definitely felt creamier. And I've got two brown shades of the Marc Jacobs as well. I've used this a lot. I just really hate these because you can't sharpen it. And it comes with a sharpener at the end. But, first of all, I can't get it out. And second of all, and you try to sharpen it, it just doesn't work. It just really doesn't work. So again, not as creamy, and you can see it is more drying. I remember these liners were so good. This one feels a little bit better. Keep the lids on a little bit tighter on my Marc Jacobs liners. I've uh, got a couple of Colourpop liner as well. Um, Colourpop's liners are basically cheap and cheerful, I feel like. And again, it's a twist up, but they actually feel really creamy. I think my Marc Jacobs ones have just dried out a bit. This one's a little bit more tuggy. But yeah, honestly, just swatching these. Oh gosh, the, these Aldridge ones are just so creamy. 
And then I've got this Charlotte Tilbury, the classic eye powder pencil, classic brown. So this is a proper cold pencil rather than gel. Again, tugging a little bit. And I know this one smudges. And then I've got this one from Il Maquillage and Kathleen Lights. And this liner is actually pretty good. I really do like it. It's creamy. It's on the same par of creaminess as the Lisa Aldridge one. And this is pretty smudge proof as well. I'm basically going to let all of these liners dry and just run my fingers all over it to see which one is the most smudge proof. And of course, I've got these uh, Linda Halberg um, LH Cosmetics ones. They are a little bit old as well, but also very creamy. They're kind of a gel formula that is not supposed to budge. And I've got another metallic brown. So these very much in a similar packaging to Lisa Aldridge. You've got this kind of like plasticky outer and then the wooden pencil. And I really enjoy these liners. They are super smudge proof as well. Like I know that. Very creamy. And I have, she's got great colors. I mean, look at this amazing copper colour. And then we've got this sort of greeny blue, Guilty Mood. And I've got this Linda Halberg as well called Atria Flash. Put it here. Yeah, super creamy. So the, it's on the same creaminess as the uh, uh, Lisa Aldridge. But oh my gosh, just look. Look at Renaissance Gold, so pretty. Actually, Night Forest is looking prettier in the sunlight. The sparkles are coming through a little bit, but the grey, it's yeah, the pearl is very, very subtle still. Okay, so mm, it's not smudge proof, and these were my uh, Mark Jacobs ones. Yeah, they are tacky and they're not coming off um they feel sticky these Marc Jacobs ones and that was the Colourpop actually the Colourpop is pretty smudge proof and then we've got the Linda Halberg I'm rubbing really hard on the Linda Halberg one and is not moving even the slightest Linda Halberg again it's got a slightly tacky feeling to it and it's not um, oh, that one is smudged a little bit, but that was the last one applied, so I feel like that's a bit unfair. Didn't give it enough time. <laughs> and then the green. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like maybe because Elisa Eldridge is so creamy, maybe it doesn't quite set. Because it's definitely been over 40 seconds. And then... And you can see the colour pop there. It's like cracking and flaking. So it's definitely, you know, it's, it's colour pop. This one is not really budging from Linda Halberg. This is a Marc Jacobs one. That's like the creamy one <laughs> out of all of the Marc Jacobs ones that I have. Yeah, again, when I run my finger over it, there's that tacky feeling and it's not budging. But I feel like it's it cracks a little bit more. So I think it's more smudge proof. But the texture is not as good as the Lisa Eldridge which, as you can see, is definitely smudging. Okay, so, yeah. Because they still feel creamy, I don't... They're definitely not set down yet. I don't think they set after 40 seconds. So these are the Linda Halbert ones. They're, they're, they're definitely not budging. And then this is the Il Maquillage one. And that's not moving. That's not coming off. That's staying on pretty good. Uh, that's the Charlotte Silvery. It smudges like crazy. Um, and then these are the Marc Jacobs ones, which flakes a little bit. I think that, I think they're just past their prime, um, but not smudging. So from this test and from my experience with all of my eyeliners, I know that the LH Cosmetics ones are absolutely amazing. They do go on creamy. They have less playtime than the Lisa Aldridge, but when they set, they set and they don't 
move. And also the Il Maquillage one is actually really, really good as well. And if you want to purchase these eyeliners or any of the other products I've used in this video, uh, commission links will be in the description box. Uh, purchasing through these links really helped me um, as a little small creator. So thank you for all of those I've purchased through them. Um, so I'm really grateful for those of you that use it. Um, obviously, if you don't want to use it, you don't have to use it. So guys, this is ground coffee as a winged liner on my eyelids. It's bare eyelids without primer or concealer and I did not set it with anything. I applied it to my upper lid only and my upper waterline to really test whether it's smudge proof, waterproof. So my first impressions right now is these pencils are the creamiest <laughs> eye pencils I have ever used. Also, I feel like these eye pencils aren't just eyeliner pencils. They're almost like creamy eyeshadow sticks. As I demonstrated, you know, you can just put it all over your lid in a messy way, smudge it out, and you have like a cream eyeshadow base for your other eyeshadows, or you can just leave it as it is and have it as a smoky statement eye. It is so easy to blend when you have that playtime. And honestly, just the glide, the creaminess of it is truly as she's described it's like a liquid so whether it's smudge proof or not will be in the wear test i'll add to the description of the video whether it was smudge proof or not but so far these are a win for me and i will see you guys in the next video bye